What's going on, everybody? It's Fragged Out, Swagged Out, and you already know why I'm here. Today, I'm going to talk about a very exclusive perfume house. And within that exclusive perfume house, there is a fragrance that is even more exclusive, even within their own line. Um, this perfume house that I'm speaking of is, of course, EBK Paris Essence Beyond Known. And they're exclusive because they don't do a lot of marketing. Um, they don't do a lot of commercials. They don't hire a bunch of famous people to do advertisement for them. They're not on big poster board all over the place. They're there. They're in their lane. They're exclusive. They make amazing fragrances. And it's one of those things where if you know, you know. And if you do know, hopefully you're kind enough to pass on the word. Um, I know that I personally am one of those people that tell as many people about EBK as possible. Um, I talk about them on my lives. I bring them on some of my favorites lists. Um, I know my favorite vanilla, two of them made the list. Um, when we talked about Oud, I talked about them. Um, I bring them up as much as possible. They're not the most commonly known fragrance, so um, a lot of people can't really carry a conversation about them, but hopefully we'll bring more awareness to this company and you know put them on the map a little more so that more people can get some of these great fragrances that they're missing out on just because they have not heard about them. Now, first things first, before I move on, um, full disclosure, this fragrance that I'm going to talk about today was sent to me for review by EBK. Now, with that said, be very aware that I already own um, three full bottles of the 100 ml bottles, and I have three more of the 15 ml bottles here as well. So I was already a fan of the company. This one that they sent to me by chance happens to be one of the ones that was on my hit list to get already so it was so much easier for me to accept it because i already knew i wanted it and i would automatically have done a video for this one anyway because it is really just one of the highest level best blended oud fragrances out right now um so without further ado let's talk about the company for those who do not know that much about this company we'll talk we'll take a little dip into who is EBK? So, a journey behind each creation of EBK Paris starts with two main aspects. A city that has an inspiring story to tell and a vision board of elements. That goes with people, landmarks, fabric, stones, paintings, objects that evoke feeling and originate extraordinary associations in the mind of the master perfumer. He then carefully connects them to the finest raw ingredients that have the power to translate his idea to the melody of scent, making each fragrance a true reflection of art. And that's exactly what they are, a true reflection of art. Whether you're talking about the design of the bottle, the box that comes in, the fragrance itself, the fact that all the fragrances are just so unique, so amazing. Um, so yes, and then number 46 in itself, this exceptional fragrance symbolizes a significant moment of the past meeting the present where the emerald traditions of simplicity of a life aligned with the modern sophistication and unity of the seven emirates. So this does highlight all the seven emirates uniting, becoming the UAE. And man, what a way to kind of put a bullet on that particular moment in history with this amazing, amazing fragrance. So let's talk about the notes really quickly before we jump in any further. Or actually, let's look at this box. Let's look at the presentation. You know, usually I don't do boxes, but since it was sent to me for review, I am gonna walk you through the entire presentation, which is this box. So there's a white box here, um, gold trim, gold letters, EBK number 46, um, and exclusive edition. And here they have a little golden plaque, a little different from the other boxes. And that is because the limited edition, or exclusive, the limited edition here, um, they only make 1,200 of these um, bottles a year. So 1,200 a year. And of those 1,200, I have in my hand number 1,196. So they're almost out of the year supply. So I am very thankful for getting this box right here. Um, in the back, they have some of their ingredient information. Um, you know, the name of the company, the name of the fragrance, barcode. And very... There's not... Not, nothing you haven't seen before, open it up inside. Has a little kind of foam box with the cutout that it rests in, very snug, so it doesn't go out of place. And here you have some documentation, information on the 
company and the fragrance itself. And done with that, the bottle is really not like all the bottles are the same um, in the sense that they uh, they have that kind of waffle cone kind of um, design etched into the glass. Uh, this one right here has a little gold label with the gold trim, EBK number 46. Um, and the little gold cap, this gold cap. Um, though it does stay in place, I would not play around with it too much because it doesn't snap into place. But it is, now I wouldn't say very snug, but snug. Snug enough to pick up, take off the top, spray it, put it back on, put it down. Don't play too much with that. And excuse me, but that is my new roommate. I have a new pit bull in the house and she is um, a diva, so she likes attention also. Um, okay, so now that we got the bottle, we got the box, we got the design, the presentation out the way, what is in the fragrance? So EBK tells us that there is musk, lemon, patchouli, agarwood, mosa, honey, ambergris, jasmine, leather, and incense. And those are the 10 notes that they're going to tell us about. But if you know anything about perfumers, they tell you the 10 obvious notes. There's a lot more going on in here because later on they will go on to say that number 46 reveals an unforgettable combination of 80 exquisite ingredients with an intense animalic blend of three different kinds of oud, leather, civet musk, balanced out by citrus notes, honey, and patchouli. And that explanation kind of says it all. That is the story of this fragrance, um, kind of how they explained it there, um, but we'll get a little deeper into why this fragrance is so, so amazing. And, you know, if, if, if I didn't put enough emphasis on it the first time, only 1,200 uh, pieces made every year. So that alone makes it really exclusive. But if something's exclusive and doesn't smell great, then what's the point, right? So this fragrance right here, that's a really nice atomizer too. And that's for all of them. Um, you're gonna get exactly what you're expecting after reading that. Uh, that opening is, um, they don't tell you what the three ouds are, but you can tell there is something going on with a lot of oud. Um, it is a slightly animalic, but it's not an off-putting animalic. And that uh, three oud combination with that leather and that civet musk, for me, really makes this the ultimate masculine fragrance. And it's not masculine as in the really old, hairy guy who nobody wants to be around. This is a very um, regal, gentlemanly, kind of um, manly fragrance, someone who knows how to dress well, represents himself well, alpha male kind of personality, the person who steps into the room and demands attention because you're going to get it uh, with this kind of fragrance on you, no doubt. This is, especially from people who appreciate fragrance. This is not necessarily for um, if you're going to Macy and Belk every week and pick up a new fresh blue bottle, That's this is not it. This is a very elevated, amazing fragrance. Um, so again, you have those ouds, that leather, that civet, that make it a very manly fragrance, in my opinion. Um, but then you have that citrus and that honey that as soon as it gets on your skin, it starts working really well with those heavier, darker notes. And man, you get this really nice balance of light and dark. It's a little airy. Um, that citrus really helps air it out a lot, actually. Um, you're always, you, you're always going to get that feel that this is a strong, um, slightly animalic, uh, almost medicinal kind of oud with those combinations of three different ouds with that leather, with that civet, but that, that citrus makes it a little bit more airy. It has some incense in there. Let's give it a little spice and that honey, that honey is a key player in this because it almost gives it that kind of like, um, that vibe you get when you add honey to a tea, like it has, it's kind of herbal, kind of um, spicy, woody, and that honey balances it out so nice. It gives it a little thickness. It gives a little density to the fragrance as if it already needed any more, but it's done so well where it's not overly, um, overly dense, overly heavy. Um, really, really, really amazing fragrance for this weather right here that we're in. If you're wearing a hoodie, in whatever region you're in, because that's what the weather calls for, then the weather probably also calls for some of this number 46. An amazing fragrance, an amazing composition from top to bottom. And 
I have the rest, I, I, I applied it earlier and the dry down, man. The, so when you talk about transitions, over here you have this animalic, slightly medicinal oud leather combo with some citruses and honey to calm it down and balance it. That's what takes you in to the mid. But by, by the time you get to the mid and deeper into the dry down, it's almost like this, I don't know, like 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 adding oud to a chamomile tea um, and that has honey in it and patchouli. And patchouli is becoming one of those notes that for me, when I smell it, if it's done well, I love it. I, I There was a time when I couldn't even dig patchouli and now I'm in there and patchouli does this amazing job over here. Um, I wouldn't call it the chocolatey patchouli. This is not what you're getting here, but it's also not a very um, dirty patchouli either. It's right in the middle where I think it works very well with that honey to give a slight feel of sweetness, a little bit of earthiness that works well with that oud. Um, all these things working together. Listen, um, there's some fragrance that I say you should try. There are some fragrances that say you have to try. Now, does everybody have to try this one? No, everyone does not have to try this. If you don't love oud already, then you don't have to try this. If you like oud and you want to love it, then this is an amazing fragrance. If you already love oud and you've been looking for oud that kind of stands apart from the rest of them, then um, this is probably the one you want to try. Everything I smell from EBK, they go very original with their fragrances, whether it's their vanillas, whether it's their chocolates, whether it's their oud prominent fragrances. They just do an amazing, amazing job. And this um, is no exception to that. It just, it hits on all levels. It gives, it gives, man, yeah, it gives a really, really nice dry down. Um, very, it, it's oud and it's still leathery. That patchouli and that honey work really nice. You don't get that much citrus anymore. And it just, it's very airy around you. Like it, it, it gives off this vibe that, you know, it's not as intense as the beginning, but it's still of somebody with class who knows about their fragrances. This is not for everybody, so I'm not even gonna pretend it is, but if you're into what I just described, um, you can reach out to EBK, um, whether it's on Facebook, then you can hit them up on Facebook and on Instagram. They don't have a, uh, a brick and mortar here in the States anyway, and um, they don't have an actual website where you purchase from, but a couple of notes from the house, um, so EBK orders can be ordered through three different um, olfactory consultants, whether it's on Facebook um, and Instagram at EBK Paris or at EBK Parfums. Your, their team can help you there. Choose a fragrance. So I know for the first time I ordered um, from EBK, someone will you just um, DM them. They'll DM you back, you know, time zone. So can, keep that in consideration. They'll hit you back and they'll say, hey, what are you interested in? And you'll tell them whether you do or you don't know. If you don't, I don't know yet. I've heard a lot of good things. They'll walk you through their catalog, tell you what, ask you what kind of notes you like, tell you which one kind of sounds like it'll work for you. And they'll go on from there. From there, you make your order directly through them. They will send you an email that confirms that um, they're sending you an invoice. Once you pay that invoice, um, they've, they've got your information and they will send you that confirming the purchase complete. And within, uh, I think within 24 hours, maybe even less, they will ship your fragrance. You will get your confirmation email. It's just, it's again, it's, it's not your, your typical purchasing experience, but it is very tailored to making sure you have the right fragrance. And there is someone there to help you walk you through this fragrance company who, you know, we don't have access to in store, at least here in the United States. And shipping to the United States um, is free, at least for right now. I don't know if that's a long-term plan. If you are interested in this one, it is 375 USD. But personally, um, I do have more expensive fragrances um, than this, but yeah, this one definitely is worth every cent of 375 that you would um, allocate to it. And Again, EBK made a gem with number 46 here, but this is not their standalone great fragrance. There's a lot of other great fragrances, and I have some of them here. Um, Deep in Desire, which again, I paid for myself. Um, Ruby in Vanilla, 
Intense, which I paid for myself, and um, Ruby and Vanilla Oud also. And I think I've spoken about all of these. And this one right here, Alexandrite and uh, Patchouli, which is a very, very beautiful patchouli fragrance. All of these are amazing fragrances, and that's why I own them. Uh, otherwise, I would not have gotten them. So I will tell you that there's a lot of great fragrances to look into. And this is just some of them. They have others on the catalog that um, one of their sales representatives can help you with if you're even interested in buying them. Hopefully you are. And if you are, go ahead and comment down below um, if you're interested in buying it, if you have any questions that I could probably help you with, I'll be more than happy to answer. So if you want to purchase, if you're thinking about, or even if you own a couple or one and you wanna talk about it, hit me up, we can have a discussion down in the, in the comment below, DM me, I don't care, it's fine, it's cool. Um, I'm here for it because if it's fragrance uh, related, I am super interested in holding that conversation. So feel free to hit me up. Feel free to hit EBK Paris up. Um, if you're interested in purchasing, uh, that is all I have for you today. Thank you very much for staying to the very end. If you have, and if you have, because I am so grateful for you showing up and watching and learning a little bit here with me. If you are interested in number 46, I will be willing to send two people a decan just so you can get your nose on it and know if this is something you want to purchase and if it is then you can feel free to go straight to ebk parrot make that purchase so hit me up um in the comments or the well hit me up in the dm so that i can actually really really spot you out um you have to actually be a follower of my page and um please repost this and that lets me know that you're serious about getting this sample once again thank you very much for your time this is fragged out swagged out and I'm out.